Hi everyone, it's Nisha. Welcome to another edition of Powder Foundation for Mature Skin. And today, a lot of you asked me to do this, it will be the Laura Gela Baked Balance and Brighten. So I've used this for a long, long time, but I've never used it on its own as a foundation. I've only used it to top up my liquid foundation and I always used to have medium. Um, so not long ago, I bought the golden medium because medium was a bit too light for me when I'm tanning. So, um, so far we've tested like the pressed powder foundations. This is a bit different. This is baked powder foundation. So I don't know if you know, all baked products start their life as creams and then they are baked on terracotta tiles and that's how they end up looking like this. So let me quickly read to you from their website what they say about this uh, foundation. Let us balance your skin tone and brighten your day. Our balance and brighten foundation makes shade matching your skin tone a breeze. Color correcting swirls of multicolored liquid pigments are baked for 24 hours on terracotta tiles, then hand finished in Italy. The result is weightless, creamy coverage that self adjusts to leave skin looking even flawless and beautifully radiant. Baked products are made without additional fillers, so they cover with less product than traditional powders. Infused with antioxidants, Cantea Asiatica and white tea extract, Balance and Brighten gives you luminous, perfecting coverage you will love. Okay, so like I said, I've never used this before on its own as a foundation. For some reason, I thought this would never give me uh, the desired coverage. So I've always used it on um, to top off my foundation. So today we are going to try it and I'm trying it for the first time as an actual foundation. Now, before I forget, let me tell you about this. So you know I've talked throughout reviewing all these powder foundation about this MAC sponge that is like a sponge on one side, velvet on this side, that I absolutely love and I wasn't aware that MAC discontinued it. And guess what? When I went to Primark, buying the Primark makeup, which you just seen me testing it, I saw this and it is a pack of four for £1.50 and they are, they look almost identical. Um, the spongy bit maybe is tiny, tiny bit stiffer than this, but the velvety side feels exactly the same. So I was so, so excited. Um, I don't know where you can get it in the US, Maybe you can find it somewhere on Amazon. I really don't know. I've tried to look for it, but I don't even know how to um, look for it, what to call it, double-sided sponge. <laughs> um, but I will have a look. I will carry on looking because I know you in the US can get things from Primark. If I find it, I will leave a link down below. Okay, my lovelies, let's get to the demo. Okay, so let's do the concealer first. Um, I will use my Jeffree Star in C9 and Fenty Beauty in 235. Just don't want to be too light. bit on my chin because my chin is quite red. So I think I'm going to start with this dense brush first. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> And this is um, the Blank Canvas Cosmetics F01. So I'm going to swirl it. Yeah, that's quite a good brush for that. I 
let me just have a look now if this sponge will work with that i'm not sure it will because i think these are better for like just the pressed powders but let's have a look No, that looks good. Yeah, that is working, but I think the swirling is good enough. I suppose the brush is good in those little bits that are hard to reach okay hmm. that's covered pretty good let me just set my under eye concealer now Okay, let me show you that close-up now. So this is close-up. Very good coverage. Uh, I really didn't expect that. Yes, yeah, so it looks really good actually. I really didn't expect that. Let me just bronze a bit. I'm going to use Fenty Beauty uh, bronzer in Private Island. Actually, I was going to tell you something about this. When I first bought it, I bought two different colors. One was much darker, so I gave that to my friend. But I didn't like this powder at first. But now, I do like it. I don't know what happened that time that I used it and I thought I didn't like it. But I do like it now. It's a nice matte bronzer. Maybe because I was lighter then, I don't know. Then I'm going to use a bit of Laura Geller um, Tahitian Glow. I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Lovegasm for the blush. I'm going to use this blush. And then I'm going to use the highlighter from this palette as well. Okay, so when you look at it, it doesn't look that dark, but it is quite dark. So if I didn't have the fake tan, that would be far too dark. I've had the medium before and the medium one is pretty good for most people, you know, like my coloring. Uh, the only thing with the medium one was I didn't really like the tone of it. I felt like it was more pinky than golden, but yeah. Okay, so it looks really good. I'm going to spray it actually with uh, my Mac, Mac, Mac Fix Plus. Try it with my enormous fan. And now I will go and finish off my makeup and then I will come back and talk a bit more about it. Okay, so I finished my makeup. On my eyes, I used the Too Faced Tutti Frutti palette in Razzle Dazzle Berry. I love this palette. Haven't used it for ages. Um, I have a um, Benefit eyeliner on. Um, on my lips, I have Kylie Cosmetics Lip Liner in Coco K and oh yeah, I think I bought it as a lip kit 
um, and this is the matte lipstick in Coco K. And then I topped it off with this Too Faced, my favorite, one of my favorite lip glosses in in Raising the Roof. Okay, so what do you think? I think it looks really good. I am so surprised because like I've said, I never used it on its own as a foundation. Um, and the color when I'm tanned is perfect. So let me just zoom you in. It's got really, really good coverage. It covered everything. It doesn't look powdery. It just looks perfect. Okay, so as usual, I will go about my day and then I will come back after a few hours and we will check what my face looks like. So I will see you later. Okay, so I'm back. It has been about seven hours. I usually do the same amount of time because I like to get these check-ins before it's time for me to start cooking dinner. Uh, so, but to me that's enough. And let's have a look. Well, it looks exactly the same as it did when I first put it on. Um, it hasn't even gone, you know, my, I've got normal skin, but in the summer I get oily forehead and chin. My chin looks fine. My forehead might have tiny bit of shine on it, but not much at all. Let me zoom you in. Yeah. I think it looks pretty good. So it is so hard to decide because you already know I like the Wonder Beauty one. I like the Estee Lauder, wasn't too keen on the Makeup Forever. And I really like this one as well. <laughs> um, this one's got really, really good coverage. I would say I didn't have to build it up as much as I did the Wonder Beauty and the Estee Lauder. So I think this one's got better coverage on a first application. So that's maybe the only difference. And also it hasn't really gone oily on me. So I love this one as well. <laughs> it's so hard because I'm doing every Friday one of these that I'm getting confused myself, but I do remember the ones that I really like. So yeah. Next Friday, we're going to do another one. Okay, my lovelies. So that was the Laura Geller Balance and Brighten Baked Powder Foundation. Thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous. Bye.